one fridge, two fridge, three fridge, four student. No. One angry student. Are you mad? Because I'm mad. Tell me your opinions. Tonight, houses, flats, bungalows, even bloody caravans equals accommodation. Herbal highs, pop tarts, forced persona, and a profound sense of bullshit equals students. Accommodation plus students equals one great bloody mess. We investigate. This is Ben. He's a student at the university. A university has wronged him. Wronged him to the point of buggery. Tell me who you are, Ben. Well, my name's Ben Scotland. Mm. I'm 20 years old yeah. and I'm doing a uh, Masters in yeah. Lamination yeah. at the University of Lincoln. Yeah. And, well, basically, I'm just, I'm just I'm devastated at what I've been mm. left with. And how did you feel when you first arrived at uh, the Festival Gardens site? Well, I felt lied to. I mean, the name Festival Gardens, you know. I thought music, hot dogs, Wellingtons, but there was none of it. It was just, you know, Tiny Temple wasn't there. Someone, someone gave me a piece of paper saying Tiny Temple was going to be there. And he wasn't. I mean, he's been everywhere. He's been at all types of butlins. Any grotty, grotty little area you can name. Even Scunthorpe. No, no, not Scunthorpe. He hasn't been to Scunthorpe. But, you know, I was still. And the garden bit, there was no grass. Pure concrete and the odd pebble. I had to move myself here because they were going to every live screen of the X Factor. I mean, just, I, I had to bring every, all of my belongings. I had to dismantle my bed, bring it up. But then, as I said, I got here, there was no... No way for me to put my bed. He handed me a cardboard box which I had to assemble myself. I had to try to ring my parents, but they just don't care. This is Festival Gardens, the heart of Lincoln student accommodation. My God, my God, does it look like a festival? A festival that's been ravaged by a drug crazed rock star. This is Dan. Uh. We spoke to the poor sod. Dan, tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, well, uh, studying. Uh, Astro mathematics at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I'm 20 years old, 20 and a half actually. That's great. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know how many months. That's amazing. No, that's, 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 you know, it's, it's great that, uh, yeah, look at you. Um, okay, so, uh, you know, Tell us what you thought when you first arrived at, at, at your cardboard box in uh, Festival Gardens. Oh, I mean, it was, it was alright, you know. Because, like, back home and stuff, it's not that glamorous. You know, I had to chill out. I mean, the cardboard box is, isn't too bad. And, I mean, I've got my spaghetti, which is... You know. Well, at, at least he has his... Um, Spaghetti. So, uh, Dad, if if you could um, if you could tell us about you know how your parents felt. You know how did you, how did your parents feel when you know you you'd been incarcerated, if you like, in oh. this uh, in this in this cardboard box. They, they came to they came to visit, and uh, they came down in in the van with my my brother and uh, my dog, Rovers, his name, and uh, yeah, it came. Rover seems to like the box quite a lot. Uh, parents were all right with it. They didn't think it was the best thing, really, but not that much of a problem. I, you know, I, they just looked at it. It was like, yeah, you're doing well, Dan. You're doing well. So they were proud of me, I think, when I came to uni. So we've heard a lot of stories about the Festival Garden Steps and how dangerous they are. Hero has said now, death steps of doom. Here's Ben to tell us more. We tried to socialise by sitting on the, the two steps outside our cabins, drinking, but, you know, if you drink, there's inevitably glassings. So, there's people getting glassed left, right and centre, and then my one true friend, Stanley, he was, um, you know, we were really, really close. But then, one time, there's, you know, they didn't have a fence for a while. And three of the engineering students just came and it was... It was hot. See, Ben's had some real horror stories at this university, but not everyone's had it so bad. Take Dan, for example. He's made friends. He's made friends who've never even seen the inside of a hospital, despite a judicial recommendation. I've made one friend. 
Any um, has these puppets? His hand puppets is made himself. Made them himself. And he said I could go play with one of them at some point. But um, um, he just let me play with his pogs when I went round. So it was just it wasn't as good. True stories. I mean, real true stories from real people. Uh, so Dan, tell me, you know. You must be angry. You must be angry. I mean, look, look at this. Look at this hair. You, you must be angry. So tell me, what are you going to do about it? Oh, what's someone else doing about it? Well, I'll go with them. If, they, if they're doing something, I'll, I'll go with them. Do you know what I mean? I imagine you have some really hard, hard things to say to the universe, you know, to that... To that man on top, that man just sort of standing over you, giving you his sort of judgment. Yeah, I know that's hard. I know that's hard. But what if that man is a woman? And what would you say to them? Hmm? Well, I mean, I had a dream to be the world's greatest laminator. You know, mm. my name to be on laminated billboards yeah. worldwide. Mm. But how can I do that when I'm given a cardboard box to live in and about eighteen baked beans? to eat with a sharpened toothbrush every night. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? His cardboard box has been pissed on by the man upstairs. This needs to be dealt with. Now the next thing. We spoke to the university. And they said... This. So... Festival Gardens, a completely madcap scheme that was doomed to fail. Do you think the number of applicants will be affected next year? So, yeah, there will be fewer um, UK and EU undergraduate students coming to Lincoln than there were this year. Oh dear, well never mind. There was no space for them anyway. You'll have to put them in the bins behind the pub. Uh, we're looking at doing something really exciting with those in terms of student accommodation. Um, so there will be that extra accommodation around for, for years to come. So, we've heard there was a problem with vermin at the Festival Garden site. Tell me, how did you guys deal with that? We had some on site, so we went and, and bought um, bath mats for everybody to make sure that that wasn't too much of a problem in the time being. But bath mats? That's insane! What did the students think of this, and how can you afford this slightly bonkers rodent deterrent? Um, you know, most people thought it wasn't ideal, bath mats for everybody, but that's really the sort of level of seriousness that, um, that we are taking as a university, but we did not um, by any means cover the cost of providing this for people. So, what was your main priority when you decided upon this kind of accommodation? Our main priority was money. We're this popular that when people came, it was a bit bad really to, to live. But, you, you don't necessarily know the system. Well, I think we've heard enough. Thanks for your time. Now to the next thing. So, we've spoken to the university. We've spoken to students. We spoke indoors. We spoke to people outdoors. Then I had a long good think. I decided that you're likely to be bottled round the brain bin if you make friends with gingers. We've also learnt how in this third world end of the country, a box can feel like a bloody great mansion. And finally, we learnt how a university doesn't really give a monkey's foot about its students. So who's to blame here? Society? Drugs? Prejudice? Probably. Goodbye. <laughs>